Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Na, 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 na. Got another mirror matchup, and it is a ZVZ. So, got the one and only Mong on Zerg, obviously. And we have Toki on Zerg. So, we will get to see how two Koreans play this. I only have sound coming out of my right speaker, but I think the sound goes through my desktop, so um, shouldn't affect the cast for you guys. It's just for me. So, Mong, uh, they know it's a ZVZ, so he's scouting right now, and... I don't know if that means GG or if that's just a little funny face. But uh, now Mong knows he's top left. He should know that. He saw the Overlord. So I guess he thought the Overlord came from here and then came down. So going to be a miss Q. And he's bringing this Overlord over here. So he's going to scout and not see anything there. So now he knows he is top left left and I'm surprised he's not taking this overlord and bringing it over here so we got two hatcheries here's your sunken coming down and Mong's gonna go with three hatcheries no sunken because he went for the early scout so kind of lets him know what he's up against so he is gonna see Toki right here and honestly I don't know if either of these players are really good at ZVZ or not I mean I'm I know a lot of players don't play ZVZ, but I'm sure Mong is a little bit more experienced, uh, a little bit more knowledgeable in the units he should choose. But Toki might be a little bit more experienced because he's played Zerg versus Zerg before. So here's your little wall off. You got five hatcheries for Mong. 13 13 on the drone count. Here's your scout. And if you guys like the channel, give it a like, give it a subscribe. And Yeah, so there you go. He's gonna see the scout. He saw, I think he saw that he was getting gas already. And I think Toki's just gonna go for maybe two more macro hatcheries. We'll see. He's gonna go for the double gas right now. Let's we'll see if he gets another hatchery. So he's got he's got five now. Here's a Zergling coming in. We get the scout off. Wants to see if there's a hydro stun up or or not or if he's going for a lair here's two zerglings right here and let's see where mong's overlord is he's trying to bring it on over he's bringing this one on over now and there's your lair no hydralis done and here's another hatchery right here so this is where i think experience is going to beat knowledge in my opinion so i do think i would take if i had to bet i would take toki aka just so you guys know, Toki is Rabbit. So this guy's going to come up. This guy's going to try to make a, a hatchery, but he is going to get forced back. The micro that Zergling out of there. And Mong's going to see that there's not a lair. Here comes the, another hatchery. And this is, this is what Toki likes to do. Likes to play a little bit risky, frisky. Here's a Zergling down here. Here's your lair. To keep getting that information he sees no oh there's your spire right there it almost looks like a creep colony so if he doesn't click it he's not going to know what that is but i think toki's going for hydras there's a couple more zerglings down here so he's going to force and he put the overlord right here which is extremely annoying there's your overlord right here going to take the overlord out so doesn't get killed by hydras and another sunken gonna come down. These guys are gonna attack this hatchery right here. Should be finishing up pretty soon. Gonna have to use a couple drones. Micro a little bit and then micro back. Sunken finished and gonna have to get those guys out of there. Let's see what the vision is for Mong. He's got a Zergling right here. He's got an Overlord over here. Overlord right here. You should probably put that Overlord right here and yeah, I think you might wanna put this Overlord just a little bit further out. But it's kind of hard to do when you're just macroing up. And here is your chamber. Spire getting close. So 
So he's got five, six, seven, eight, nine hatcheries. Let's see what Toki's got. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got upgrades on the way. He's got eight hatcheries. He's going hydra. His lair is going to be really late. Here's some zerglings coming in. Probably going to scout. Get some information. Were these zerglings down here? There's some zerglings down here as well. So he's got zergling speed. And going to kill this creep colony. Or is he going to go after the Hydra's Den? And he actually might get this Hydra's Den, which would be huge. But there is a Spore Colony right here. So that is going to go down. So that's what happens when you play a little bit risky like that. And here's your Mutas coming out. Seven of them. But. So he might make another Creep Colony. Yeah, he's got two right here. He might make another Creep Colony. Because these mutas, we'll see some muta micro from Mong. And look at all these zerglings coming in. 79. But look at... Let me just pause this. Look at the drone count for both players. So, Mong is somewhat going kind of all in. While Toki is really just macroing up like a beast. So, let's just start it back up. Upgrades are getting close right here. And let's see if he's getting that upgrade. Yeah, he's going to get the carapace upgrade. And here are your Zerglings coming in. Let's see what this looks like for Toki. Here's your... We put the Overlord over the the Spore Colony. Micro on these guys back. This is going to go down. Another Spore Colony is going to spawn. They have 400 health. And some Hydras are going to spawn, which are going to help out. Spreading the drones right here. Going to lose the Hydra stun again. Let's back it up a little bit. And he's got another Hydra stun over here. Going to lose this one as well. Going to kill the Overlord. And doing some damage. Let's see if some more units are coming in. No more units. Mong looks like... And look at Mong. Already has 50 drones now. So, really coming back. Looks like a... Yeah, going to take out that Hydra Sten. Another Hydra Sten on the way. I take out that Hydra 1-1 one, one upgrade. Should be close. He's got one upgrade on the attack. And going to retreat out of there. So, Mong currently looks like he's winning this one right now. He's got the tech. Let's see if he's got getting that upgrade. He's getting he's got two hydro stands. Let's see if he gets a hive. And I think Mong's gonna maybe try to hunt for some overlords. Maybe try to sneak these guys in. There is that Zergling still chilling there. Take out a couple of these drones. There's one, two. I'm gonna try to take out this spore. Takes out an Overlord. So really harassing nicely. And look at all these Hydras right here. 1-1 one, one upgrades for Toki though. He has the money to make some more hatchery. So it looks like he's going to make about 4 right here. Here comes your Hydras. And yeah. This is going to be... This is a pretty big attack right here, so we'll see. Well, there's a lot of Hydras, though, for Toki, so I think he should be fine. And Monk should have waited for the Hydras to come in and then attack right here with those Mutas. But those guys are going to get deterred. Let's see if he's getting 2-2. 2-2 on the way. More Hydras right here. And now the drone count is in favor of Mong right now. So, Lurker getting upgrade. The one thing is, I don't know. Look at all these Hydras right here. I don't know if... There's your Lurkers getting made. I don't know if... There's range for Toki here. This is why I think... I think he has range. On his Hydras. But, more Hydras filing in here. And going to have to cancel all of these. Or he's going to surround these, and as soon as they spawn, he's going to have to burrow these guys up. I don't see an overlord here. And these guys are going to get some nice kills, some free shots right there. So, here's your overlord coming. So, nice little move right there. There's your queen's nest. Going to unburrow these guys. And going to try to move them out, but these guys are going to be surrounded and going to die. 1-1 one, one upgrades, though, for Mong. Playing at 420 APM for a Zerg. I mean, he just keeps... He's such a beast. 
Got the Overlord right here. Getting some Lurkers right here. Gonna take out that Overlord right there. And Toki got the Micro back and forth. 122 to supply to 100. But I think Toki is gonna survive this. That's the one thing in a Zerg versus Zerg, it's really hard to outmass your opponent because all their units are spawning right there and it's usually a lot of units so unless you have a ton more units than your opponent it's really tough to outmass a zerg and a zerg versus zerg so here's some more hydras coming in see how close 2-2 it's getting close some more hydras and I think Mong is going to start teching up. Probably get some more gas right here. These guys are going to go down. Two more hatcheries. So we got six hatcheries. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen hatcheries. Let's just see how many. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hatcheries. So Toki's got more hatcheries. So he can outmast now. And he's going to have the upgrades. So he's got the Overlord speed. Here's your Hydras in the middle. Should be 2-2 very, very soon. I'd say in about 15 seconds. These guys might get trapped in here. More units coming, but I think these guys are going to get owned with a peep pound right here. So, absolute merked. There's an overload coming in. And, yeah, supply going to be about the same. Toki's got 64 drones. Let's we'll see if he gets another row of hatcheries right here. Hive getting close for both players. And both players have pretty decent vision. Got their overlords all over the place. This guy's going to come in. He's got a lurker drop. Going in with the lurker drop. And does Mong see it? Couple hydras. There's your lurker. Going to burrow. It's just going to be too far. He did go for it, though. And here comes your hydras right here. So those are the little things that come with experience. And these hydras have a better position, better choke position. Here's your lurkers, and lurkers absolutely dominate hydras. So you have to move those guys out of there. 2 2 upgrades are done. And I think Mong's 2 2 is going to be pretty close as well. So it should be spawning pretty soon. There's your 2 2. And Mong in a good spot where his units, he can have more units shooting. Firing at the opponent's units here. See how they're wrapped around, kind of in a circle like that. But these lurkers are beasted. Here's some lurkers for Mong. Got to bring the Overlord in. Got to unburrow these guys. A couple of them. I mean, Mong's playing at 400 APM. Toki needs to start using these these larvae right here. Look at all of these. Hydra's coming in. I mean, Tok or Mong is pretty relentless. Toki needs to start using these. He almost forgot about them. I guess he's a little broke. That's why. He's trying to. Can he get the Spire? Getting another hatchery right there. And Mong can max out really quickly. Maybe get a couple drones right here. Get two more hatcheries. There's an Overlord. And let's see. Here's your... Ooh. So here's your Nidus Canal. And this is always something that's fun in a ZVZ. If you can sneak in an Overlord, get some vision of your opponent's um, of your opponent's base, and then you can just put the Nidus Canal in there, and then all of a sudden you bring through all of your units, and it's an auto win. Spreading all these guys out, get a lot of vision here. He might send some guys to kill some of these overlords on the sides. We'll see. See this guy? So he can put that Nidus Canal right here if he wants to. We'll see if he does. I think he might go for the attack first. To maybe distract. Because Mong is going to be maxed out very soon. There's an overlord over here. And here comes kind of a small attack. Needs to bring that Overlord out. And let's see what Toki is up to. 
Just really building up his base. He's got a lot of gas. Maybe we're going to go into Guardians. He's got two Spires right there. Defiler Mound getting consumed. Ooh, I thought that was it, but it's not. Spore Colony right there. Yeah, Mon going to just really start building up his base. Going to get a bunch more hatcheries, it looks like. He's got this positioning right here. And we are 15 minutes into this game. I think that Mong is ahead. But it really depends on the unit choice. Greater Spire? No, not yet. Yeah, look at all these hatcheries right here. Getting some more lurkers. Here's the here it is. Here's your Nidus Canal. And does not see it. And we got a big drop right here from. Oh, he's gonna see it last second. Oh, and Toki's gonna go for a drop. That's is what that's what makes ZBZ fun like that. We might sneak this over, maybe try to. There's some hydras over here. Bunch of units in the middle. Let's see if it's three, three, two, two. Still at two, two. Let's see how close the upgrades are. And this is gonna get spotted out pretty easily. So oh, he's gonna go with one real one. And one fake one. And now we got a massive attack. If he puts these guys at the choke, though, these guys should crush. So he's going to bring these guys back on over. I don't see a defiler. Going to drop all these units back home. Nothing in here. So it's a fake drop. And there's your swarm. You have to micro these guys up. And micro them all up into the corner. We'll see probably another swarm come down right here. And maybe he'll put a Nidus Canal in here if he if he has another one. He does not, so. Trying to get that pool right there. That lurker's gonna go down. See, this would have been the, the right time to do a Nidus Canal. Here's some mutas. Probably going to make these into guardians here. There's a lurker in here. Going to go after the minerals. Oh, I thought he was going to. 3-3. Three, three. So, Mong's got 3-3 three, three now. So, his upgrades are a little bit faster. Here's your overlords in here. I don't see a Nidus Canal. Here's your greater spire. Here's your guardians over here. And Guardians are always really, really strong in ZBZ. If I had to bet, I would say Mong's going to win this one. Since it's this late in the game, he's going to know his unit choice. Here's some Mutas right here. Let's see what the upgrades are. That's a lot of Mutas, though. Let's see what the upgrades are. Level 2 Carapace. These Guardians are going to get smoked. And look at all these Mutas coming. Got Muta on Muta action. And I'm just waiting for maybe a Nidus Canal to pop up somewhere. Here's one right here. Let me pause it. I don't want to miss this. Oh, we put Sunkins here, so you can't put a Nidus Canal there. But there is a Nidus Canal right here, so... Let's see if maybe he tries to put it right here. To micro these guys on up. Maybe go for the main. Maybe get some Scorgies as well. Here's your overlords. A lot of mutas right here. And Toki gonna win this one and his mass. He's got a lot more gas. Here comes some overlords. Is this a drop? I think this is a fake drop. So just going to try to maybe get a Nidus Canal in here. Guardians on the side. Oh, here it is. How did he get that in there? So he's got a Nidus Canal right here. Toki has a Nidus Canal right here. And we got Overlord, some Mutas. These Mutas are coming. Oh, there's... Gonna go after the main Distract. And then he's gonna have this Nidus Canal. 
And it's done. There they come. There's your defiler. And you're gonna have to swarm. This guy's getting some shots by the sunken. Needs to use. There it is. There's your swarm. And I think that is gonna be the GG. The main's gonna go down. That's what's super fun about a ZBZ. Gonna try to kill the Nidus Canal. He's not he's not even trying to kill the Nidus Canal. He should. Just so no more units can come through there. They just keep filing in. And yeah, there's your GG. So Toki going to win that game. I thought Mong was gonna win. But snuck in that Nidus Canal right there. Slick, slick move. I don't know where. How you got the vision for that. Maybe it was the Mutas came running in or something like that. But anyways, doing another I did another mirror match matchup for you guys. So I hope you guys like it. Give it a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace and go Charles Oliveira. Let's go.